Hi guys, Anthony here. Um, I just wanted to share a, a quick update on where we are with um, the proof of stake uh, pool. So, as some of you might know, um, the Cardano Foundation has, has released a sign up form to actually uh, become part of the beta testers. Um, sign up form is valid until the 30th of April, and after that, they should start releasing um, access to specific beta testers. So I think we will we'll be well in the running for, for getting access, uh, just in terms of the, the setup that we have done so far. Um, so in, in because of that, I wanted to do a bit of preparation as well, in terms of how uh, I envisage uh, the, 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 the pool mining process. So because Stake of Proof is uh, a new technology, um, there are a couple of other tokens and, and coins that are you know, trying to work it out. I think Cardano at the moment is, is well ahead um, with, with what I've read so far um, and what I've seen on their videos. So, but because it's still new technology, new approaches, what I'm gonna do is actually have a private uh, staking pool. So that means that not everybody can just register and um, be part of the, of the, of the pool. Um, so everybody who registered with uh, the, the previous videos, um, so we got over 100 registrations already on it, um, they will get an invite initially and then only they can invite other people into uh, the private pool. Uh, the reasons that I'm doing this is I, I want to keep it private because again, technology-wise, um, chances that something will happen is very small, but um, I want to be sure that we know who's part of the pool, that there are not some uh, random hackers coming in there, uh, pushing over um, or, or staking either stolen Cardano or, or finding a way to manipulate the system. So um, I think that's the, the, the best approach. Um, now, eventually, once the, the proof of stake has proven successful, and once we have enough uh, members on the, on the stake, stake pool, we'll just do a vote between the members and say, okay, are we going to open it up to more registrations or are we going to uh, keep it private? Um, so just in terms of the videos that I've done, um, quite a bit of feedback. Um, a lot of people seem to be very interested in it. Um, got a lot of questions as well in terms of why I picked Cardano uh, over all the other different tokens. And um, so just wanted to explain a couple of things of where I'm coming from in terms of, of this uh, Cardano point. Um, first of all, um, back in 2013, I've done some work on cryptocurrencies. Um, so I made my own clone of uh, the Litecoin. And after researching how it does it work, you know, what's the, the, the technology, there are a couple of things that I didn't like. Uh, for one, the market started exploding with, with clones. Right? So I created my own clone and I uh, stopped the clone as well. I didn't keep going because um, the amount of electricity being wasted on the proof of work concept, you know, wasn't wasn't what I envisioned in terms of future currency. Um, so that was one of the reasons. A lot of things was I started uh, two different businesses that are up and running now. So we have a, a consultancy firm and we have a uh, agency, and we have a development uh, team as well, building uh, solutions for us. So my focus kind of swifted towards that way. Um, another reason why I think that the, um, the Cardano is the, is the coin going forward is, well, A, it's not a clone, right? It's not a EC20 or a Litecoin or a Bitcoin clone. It's actually built from the ground up, which I really like. Um, and two is the governance. So the reason that we have a bunch of extra coins that we shouldn't have is because of governance where there are disagreements within a development pool and some developers say, well, you know what, I'm going to fork and make my own coin and some say, well, I'm going to fork and make my own coin. So it kind of reminds me of uh, Bender in Futurama where he starts making his own blackjack table. And um, so that kind of childish behavior, that kind of individual behavior doesn't really suit well if you want to create a currency that is designed to be a global currency. Um, so the governance uh, where decisions cannot just be made by an individual or a small group, but it's actually being made by anybody who owns the currency. Uh, it's a lot more, you know, 
reliable in a sense. Um, of course, and you see that with politics, um, if you don't vote, you might get, you won't get what you want. But at least you have a chance to vote. Right? So I do think that is a, a, a strong uh, incentive, a strong push. Um, overall, as well. And it's no offense to, to many of these very smart guys that um, that are building new technologies and, and trying to uh, do innovations on, on cryptocurrencies. Uh, no offense to them, but I do see that they are lacking certain business skills. Um, and when you're talking about currencies, it's a business as well, right? It's a method of making business happen between a, two different parties. Right? So. You can have a, a great coding mindset, you can have a great uh, idea of, of how you see transactions happen in the future, but if you don't get the businesses on board, then it still is going to be just a dream within your small group. Right? Uh, with Cardano, they seem to really try to reach at a top level downwards, not at, at, at the bottom level trying to come up. Um, so I think that's a very strong uh, indicator as well. So. Um, Couple more things that uh, I wanted to talk about. Yeah, just a, what a lot of people don't understand is the, the cloning process. So, for example, if you look at EtherScan, um, these are tokens and, and coins that are all based on the ERC20 uh, token, which is the Ethereum um, technology. So, and of course, they're all making quite a bit of. Uh, money so for the short-term traders they, they seem to be doing very well but on the other hand because they are based on a very similar technology if if a crucial flaw is discovered within one of them chances are that they can be applied to all of them right so there are already rumors going around about uh this vulnerability and you know that's why i think again cardano is is well ahead with their development methods. Um, so something again to, to, to consider of why I'm, 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 I'm picking this one. Um, looking at the, um, the, the coins, so I switched from coin market cap to, uh, to uh, live coin watch. A reason for that is it's easier to actually see the prices within the Bitcoin and when I look at prices, I don't really like to look at um, the euro prices or the dollar prices. The reason why is at the moment everything is tethered to Bitcoin. Right? So you might think, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going up, uh, you know, two, three dollars a coin. But the reality is it's the Bitcoin that is pushing the price up. Right? So uh, as well, including the Korean market now, there's no reason why it should not be included. Um, of course, the difference between the prices is dynamic and it's, it's, it can be big, uh, but on the other hand, it should be a global currency. So once there's a, a method of stabilizing the currency better, uh, you know, it should include any market. Right? Um, what we've seen as well in the past is whenever there was any turmoil, uh, a lot of countries started increasing in volume. Uh, so we've seen it in China, we've seen it in Greece, uh, where all of a sudden they started purchasing a lot of Bitcoin, which push the price up dramatically on certain exchanges, whereas on other exchanges you could buy them very cheap. Um, so, of course, it's it's a problem um, because what, what you can do is you can actually buy cheap, sell high, um, which a lot of uh, people try to do as well. Um, but again, something to, to, to keep, keep an eye on. Um, okay, so what's next? Um, in terms of the Cointourage, so that's the, the, the pool website. Uh, we're gonna have our members only section um, now the forum you know it's not gonna be a, a public forum it's all gonna be members only uh, but once once you log in there's actually gonna be quite a bit of additional information there um, so I'll briefly log in so we can have a look we also set up a um, additional uh, telegram group so once you're logged in, you'll actually get some additional uh, fields so you can actually send invites and this is really based on members only. So if you're a member and you want to invite your friends, you can do it from here, um, but nobody can actually register themselves. 
Um, the forum as well, it's just set up uh, now, so there's nothing in there yet. But again, something to, to update with the latest news, any introductions, uh, any development questions. Just so we have a little hub for all the, 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 the coin stakers there as well. So I'm thinking that um, I'm expecting mid-May to, to get the first uh, beta invites. And normally a beta period would be two to three months. So, but while we're doing the beta period, I'll already uh, open up the pool and maybe get people to engage within that beta as well, because we do need um, clients as well that, that stake into a private pool. And there will be beta clients. So the nice thing with the beta is, um, of course, you, you stake uh, fake uh, Cardano, right? Uh, there's no, um, there's, there's no real ADA being being transferred from back and forth. So you, it's good for, for everybody to get accustomed to how does it work and, and why is it different. Um, and then again, any feedback that you have, any any suggestions that you have, if you want to be part of, of the of the private pool, you know, great. The, the more the merrier, um, because you know, it takes a bit of work as well. So um, and yeah, that's about it. So any questions, leave them in the comment below and. Um, of course, check out the other videos if you haven't done so, just in terms of the notes set up. And um, if you want to be part of the private pool, just keep on registering. Uh, once we're live, we're going to close it up and then we keep it private. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.